ChatGPT summarizes. Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind By Yuval Noah Harari Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind is a book written by Israeli historian Yuval Noah Harari. The book provides an overview of the history of humanity from the emergence of Homo sapiens in Africa around 300,000 years ago to the present day. It covers a wide range of topics including human evolution, the development of human societies, and the impact of technology on human civilization. The book starts by discussing the emergence of Homo sapiens and how they were able to outcompete other human species. Harari argues that the key to the success of Homo sapiens was their ability to create and believe in shared myths and stories. These myths, such as religion and nationalism, allowed early humans to cooperate in large groups and build complex societies. The book also covers the development of agriculture and the rise of civilization. Harari argues that the invention of agriculture was one of the most important events in human history as it allowed for the growth of large, settled populations. The rise of civilization brought about social hierarchies, writing, and the emergence of states and empires. One of the central themes of the book is the impact of technology on human civilization. Harari discusses how advances in technology, such as the invention of the printing press and the internet, have changed the way humans communicate and share information. He also explores the potential impact of future technologies, such as artificial intelligence, on human society. Another important theme of the book is the relationship between science and religion. Harari argues that the rise of science and reason has led to the decline of traditional religious belief in many parts of the world. He also discusses how some religions have adapted to the modern world by embracing science and reason. The book also covers the history of capitalism and the rise of the modern nation-state. Harari argues that capitalism, which is based on the idea of private ownership and the pursuit of profit, has been the driving force behind economic growth and prosperity in the modern world. He also discusses the impact of nationalism on human society and the creation of modern nation-states. In addition to these themes, the book also covers a wide range of other topics such as the history of war, the impact of colonialism, and the rise of the global economy. Harari also addresses the issue of human rights and the idea of equality. One of the key strengths of the book is Harari's ability to synthesize a wide range of information and present it in a clear and concise manner. He provides a comprehensive overview of human history while also delving into specific topics in depth. Overall, Sapiens is a well-written and thought-provoking book that provides a unique perspective on the history of humanity. It is suitable for both general readers and those with a specific interest in history, anthropology, and the social sciences. In conclusion, Sapiens is a comprehensive and well-researched book that provides an overview of human history from the emergence of Homo sapiens to the present day. It covers a wide range of topics such as human evolution, the development of human societies, and the impact of technology on human civilization. Harari's writing is clear and engaging, making the book accessible to a wide audience. Sapiens is an insightful and thought-provoking read that challenges the reader to consider their own place in history and how the actions of our ancestors continue to shape the world we live in today. Harari's approach to history is unique and refreshing, and his writing is both engaging and informative. Whether you are a student of history or simply someone looking to gain a better understanding of the world we live in, Sapiens is a book that is definitely worth reading. It will give you a deeper understanding of the world and our place in it, and it will make you think about the future in a whole new way. Overall, Sapiens is a book that provides a unique perspective on the history of humanity, and it's a must-read for anyone interested in the past, present, and future of our species. You could never convince a monkey to give you a banana by promising him limitless bananas after death in monkey heaven. How do you cause people to believe in an imagined order such as Christianity, democracy, or capitalism? First, you never admit that the order is imagined. One of history's few iron laws is that luxuries tend to become necessities and to spawn new obligations. Gently hit the like and subscribe button for more summaries.